When I started at the University of Michigan, I had extremely high expectations for myself. Then, right before my freshman year, my mother passed away. I struggled dealing with grief over her death, not to mention living in a new environment with increased athletic and academic demands. I consistently found myself alone, spiraling downward. Eventually, it occurred to me that isolating myself was doing nothing to better my situation. I made changes. Mental health works very similarly to physical health. When we ignore our physical health, our fitness levels are reduced and our bodies suffer. We become weaker, more susceptible to illness, and are slower to recover from injuries. The same is true of our minds. When we neglect our mental health, our moods can fluctuate rapidly, memory and cognition can become impaired, and our worldviews can begin to have a negative scope. On the other hand, when we work on our minds the way that we do on our bodies, it can have a tremendous positive impact on our quality of life and the ability to achieve our goals. We can improve our well-being by caring for our minds and our bodies. I began to talk with my teammates and coaches more often. I attended Athletes Connected wellness groups to learn skills and strengthen my mind. I made friends outside of my team and took time for myself when I needed it. Fast forward a few years and school, gymnastics, and life were going great. Training my mind helped me to stay on track through adversity and played a huge role in becoming an All-American and a national champion. My key to success in those areas of life? Attention to my mental health. I learned that in order to be successful externally, I had to be successful internally. My new outlook made me a more resilient, capable student athlete. There are lots of forms of mental health support. For me, talking with friends and learning mental skills like meditation were enough to get me through the hard times. For others, Professional support from a counselor, therapist, or doctor may be a better fit. We all fall somewhere on the continuum of well-being, and we fluctuate within it depending on our life events, accomplishments, stressors, and so on. Remember, you don't have to be sick in order to get better. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Don't suffer in silence. Our doors are always open.